Ayan. So, good afternoon or uh, good morning, good evening. So, this is the continuation of our lesson in stat. Now, just a recap. Uh, I don't know if some of you were able to have this discussion in senior high, but we have the measures of variability. Okay? The measures of variability talk about how this first kung gano'ng kalayo, kung gano'ng ka-spread out yung mga data, yung mga numbers mo, or kung gano'ng sila magkakalapit. Kunyari, no, uh, yung scores ng mga estudyante ko sa exam, merong 92, may 95, may 100, pero may mga 50, may 60, may 40. Okay? It's very dispersed. Sobrang spread out siya. Now, yung isa naman, uh, ba ang mga score ng mga estudyante ko, 80, 81, 89, 85, 82, and di nagkakalayo. So, it's not spread masyado, no? Okay. So, that is what you would like to determine dito sa measures of variability. Okay? So, we have different formulas. Una sa lahat ay ang range. It's the difference between the highest and the lowest value. Recall lang natin. Interquartal range is the difference between the third and the first quartile. Madali lang din ang formula. Minus lang natin ang Q3 and Q1. Now we have the variance. Okay? So ito na yung magsasabi sa akin kung gaano kalayo ang mga numbers or gaano sila magkakalapit. The variance, okay? it's the average of square differences between the data between the data values and mean. Yan, medyo uh, matindi-tindi tong isang to pagka madaming information. But again, we have Excel. Ay, hindi nyo kailangan manumanuhin to. The formula is different if we are talking about sample, uh, sample data lang. So, if hindi stated kung population ba to or sample, we will just use this formula instead, pang population na lang. Okay? Kanya, basta ako naglapag ng numbers dyan. So, we'll use this. Pero pagka sinabi kong from a survey o from a survey uh, from a survey of 390 students out of 1,000 students. Ayun. So, sample yun, no? Kasi hindi ni lahat ng studyante. The other one is the standard deviation. The square root of the variance. Okay, again, there's a difference in formula, but if not stated, we will use the formula for the population. Okay? Ayan. So, let me give a sample. Sige, wag na lang to kasi ang dami masyado. Kunyari, ito ang mga score ng mga bata. 1, 2, 8, 9, 10. Okay, konti lang muna para hindi mahirap i-compute. Okay? 1, 2, 8, 9, and 10. Dito muna tayo sa variance. Okay? Now, dito we have x sub i. Ito yung mga yun. Ito yung mga x sub i. Ano ngayon tong x bar? Kung natatandaan ninyo, x bar talks about average. Okay? So, kunin muna natin ang average nito. So, let me use a calculator no, para nakita natin. So, 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10, 30. It's a total of 30. Anong gagawin natin dito sa 30? I-divide sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 items. 30 divided by 5 i 6. So, our x bar is 6. Pare-pareho naman tayo ng mean. Pare-pareho tayo ng average. Okay? Ayan. Now, ang sabi dito, x sub i minus x bar. Ipagma-minus daw natin ito. Okay, sige nga, i-minus natin. x sub i minus x bar ay 1 minus 6 ay negative 5. Okay lang if there's a negative answer. 2 minus 6, negative 4. 8 minus 
9 minus 6, 3. 10 minus 6, 4. Tapos, nakalagay ay e-square daw natin. So, uh, let's square it. X sub i minus x bar squared. So, negative 5 times negative 5, positive 25. Negative 4 times negative 4, positive 16. 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 4, 16. Tapos, ang sabi, summation. Meaning, ipag-add-add daw natin ito. Okay? So, 25, the calculator lang. 25 plus 16 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. The answer is 70. Ito daw ay i-divide natin sa N. Ano tong N? Ilan yung ating item? So, 70 divided by 5 ay 14. Ito ang ating variance. Okay? Ito ang ating variance. Okay? Now, medyo malaki tong variance. As you can see, ang ibig niyang sabihin ay magkakalayo yung mga data mo. Imagine merong 1, may 2, may 8, may 9, may 10. Magkalayo sila. Okay? Kaya malaki yung ating variance. Let's take a look at the standard deviation. Standard deviation, kung mapapansin nyo, parang pareho lang yung formula, kukunin lang natin ang square root ng 14. Okay? So, ano ba ang square root ng 14? Ito, gagantuhin lang natin. Okay? So, in some calculators, just type the number, or pwede mong unahin to, type the number, and then press square root. 3.74. Okay. Uh, now, that is the long method. We can have or we can use Excel instead. Okay. Sige, liitan ko lang to. Ipakita ko lang tong ginawa natin na kaya naman pala tong mabilis at kaya naman pala tong madali. Okay. So, ang ating mga items ay we have 1. 2, 8, 9, and 10. Now, rather than computing it the long way, we want to look for the variance and the standard deviation. Ito naman, may formula naman pala si Excel. So, equals variance. Ay, lang. Equals variance. Ay, na madami yan. But for now, let's use var.p. Bakit dot p? population ang ginagamit nating formula. Pag sinabi kong sample yan, then use S. Okay? Please take note of that one. Again, pag population, var.p. Pag sample, var.s. Okay? But since I did not uh, say whether it's a population or sample, gamitin natin ay population. Variation, uh, variance daw na length. Netong lima ko. Okay. So, pareho ang sagot. We don't have to go through the long method. Andito na sa Excel. Ganon din sa standard deviation. spdev.p pag population. spdev.s pag sample. But since we did not say if it's sample or population, let's use population formula. Standard deviation na rin, nito. So, as you can see, pareho tayo ng sagot sa Excel, saka dun sa minano-mano natin i-compute. Okay? Yan. So, again, let me note the formulas here. Yan. Equals var dot p and equals Standard dev. S. I'm sorry. Okay. So, these are our formulas for uh, standard deviation and variance. Okay. 
Now, sample na naman natin dito sa activity number 5. Okay? So, sa activity number 5, we have a comparison of grades in programming and math subjects of selected students. Sige. Uh, let me teach first pala the range. Ano? Sorry. Ayan. For range, ano ang kailangan natin? Sa range, kailangan natin ng highest value sa kailangan natin ng lowest value. Sorry, uh, sabi dapat ito. Di ko alam kung bakit W. Okay. Yan. Paano natin makukuha ang highest value dito? Although madali siyang makita, let's still use formulas. Okay? Ang formula natin to get the highest value is equals max, meaning the maximum number among these. Okay? Kahit pa pagbalibalintungin natin yan, kunyari, ah, let me retype this, gagawin ko siya 10, 1, 8, 2, 9. Okay? Lipat ko lang dito. Oh, wait lang ha. I'll send ko ito mano-mano. 10, 1, 8, 2, 9. Kahit pa pagpalit-palitin ko siya ng arrangement, pareho naman ang lalabas dito. Ganon din ang lumabas dito. Lowest value, kung kanina ay ginamit natin ay maximum equals max. This time, gagamitin natin sa lowest value ay equals minimum. Or equals min. Okay, again, this is the formula. Okay. So, ito ang range. Ito ang, uh, ito ang highest value. Ito ang lowest value. Our formula for the range ay ipagsusubtract lang naman natin ang highest value minus lowest value. Oops. So, equals ito minus ito. So, our range is 9. Okay. Next, uh, we need the interquartile range. Ang sabi sa interquartile range, we need two things. We need the quartile 3 minus quartile 1. So, alamin natin ang quartile 3 and quartile 1. Alam niya na naman ang formula dito, no? So, equals quartile. Ang gamitin natin ay .exc. Select natin. Quartile 3 ang hinahanap ko. And I want quartile 1. So, tatay po dito ay 1. Simply, ang gagawin natin sa interquartile range ay pag susubtak lang quartile 3. Minus quartile 1. So, that is our interquartile range. Okay? Now, let me just change this data para makita ninyo, no? Gusto kong, ah, uh, sige, pakita ko rin dito ang average. Para makita ninyo kung, okay, ito daw yung average, no? If you see these numbers, ang lalayo nila dito sa average. Okay? But let me change these numbers. Paltan ko sila lahat ng 5, 8, 7, 6, 5. Ang average this time ay 6. Itong mga numbers na to malapit lang sa 6. Kaya mapapansin niyo yung variance, lumiit. Ang laki ng iniliit niya, naging 1.36. Same thing with the standard deviation, bumaba. Range, bumaba. Interquartile range, bumaba. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Lumapit ang numbers. Magkakalapit sila. Hindi kagaya kanina na layo-layo. Ayan -layo. o, layo-layo sila. Kaya ang laki ng variance and standard deviation. Okay? Sige. Let's go with the next one. Activity 5. Refer to the data below. Okay, so ito yung table 1. Uh, ito na din yun pareho with uh, this table. This is just the arranged version. Okay, inarrange ko na para sa inyo. So this is the comparison of grades in programming and math subjects of selected students. 
So I want you to determine the range, IQR, variance, and standard deviation. Okay, so please pause this video and uh, please return or please resume the video once you are done doing this on your own, the Excel. Okay. Now I'll assume that you are done with this. So gawa ako ng panibagong sheet dito. Okay, pwede naman siya nakahilerang ganyan, pwede naman nakababa. Okay? But I think most of you might have done it downward. Sige, uh, sort ko na siyang ganito as is. Best to label it properly. Okay? So we have 82. 87, 94, 78, 85, 90. 88, 89, 76, 75, 80, 82, 84, 79, 92. Medyo madami ito ah. Okay? Medyo madami na siya. Although, lalabing lima lang naman to. Iisan ko lang itong cell para nakita agad. Okay? Sa math, we have 88, 89, 90, 92, 85, 85, 92, 86, 90, 81, 80, 84, 89, 83, 80, and 90. Now, in encoding data, wag po kayong tatama rin na i-double check yan because one, uh, one wrong number can make the entire thing wrong. Okay? 82, 87, 94, 78, 85, 90, 88, 89, 76, 75, 80, 82, and 84, 79, 92. 88, 89, 90, 85, 85, 92, 86, 90, 81, 80, 84, 89, 83, 80, 90. Now, okay. Okay na to. So, this is correct already. Now, gusto kong malaman ay ang range. Ay, sige. Kahit di na ako pumunta dito sa PowerPoint. Yan dito ang programming, dito si Ma. Ayan. Okay, di ko na muna aayusin. Okay, di ko na muna papagandahin to. Okay, because what's important is the computation. Okay? So, una, kailangan natin ang range. Anong kailangan sa range? We need the highest value and the lowest value. Ano ang highest value ni programming? So, alamin natin, using this formula, Get the maximum, select the data, and get the lowest value, the minimum. Select the data. Okay. Remember, ang range ay isusubtract lang natin highest value minus lowest value. So, this is the range. Sa math, tingnan natin. Ang highest value ni math ay 92. Ang highest ang lowest value ni math ay 80. So let's just subtract the highest minus the lowest. Okay, dito ba na tayong gumawa ng ilang conclusion na mas malawak ang or must spread ang data ni programming because look at the range, 75 and 94. Pero pwede kasing, baka sa estudyante lang naman yung naka-75, no? So, we need more accurate data. Tingnan natin, IQR. Ano ang kailangan sa IQR? We need quartile 3 and quartile 1. Okay, so let's use the formula. Ito. I'm sorry. Nalimutan kong ilagay kung pang ilang quartile. Again, quartile 3 ang kailangan ko. Then dito, sa programming, quartile 1 is 79. 
So again, we just have to subtract quartile 3 minus quartile 1. Then, okay, let's take a look at math. Okay? So, ulit-ulitin lang natin ang paggamit ng formula. Just make sure na tama yung sineselect ninyo. Wala kayong naiiwang isang number. Okay? Tama din ang formula. Walang nakakalimutang colon, comma. Okay, because that's very important. Okay, sa math, quartile 1. Then we will just have to subtract this. Okay, so dito din sa interquartile range, mas malaki ng konti ang range ni programming versus math. Okay, but aside from that, we also have the variance. Okay, but tingnan din, din muna natin ang average or ang mean para meron naman tayong mapagbasihan. Ano ang average ni programming? At ano kaya ang average ni math? Are these numbers close to the average? Yun yung tanong dito eh. Are, uh, are the data or numbers, are the numbers close or near? Are the numbers near the average? Okay, yun yung tanong ng variance eh. So, equals variance var dot t. Bakit var dot t? Kasi hindi ko naman sinasabi kung population to or sum. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Balikan natin yung tanong. Wait lang, wait lang. Sinabi ko ba dito? Tingnan natin. Of selected students. Teka lang. Selected students. So, hindi ni lahat ng studyante. Selected lang. Okay. So, dyan tayo gagamit ng var that is. Okay? Now, if nagkamali kayo, it's okay. So, feel free to pause this video para uh, bago ko pa ma-reveal ang answer, eh, maitama nyo na. Okay? So, again, we will be using var that is kasi sample lang ang kinuha natin. Selected students lang. Hindi all students. Kung ginawa natin all students, Kahit konti lang sila, 15. Eh, kung yun lahat ng estudyante eh. Then that's population. But since it's just selected students, we'll be using S for sample. Ayan. Alamin din natin ang variance kay math. So, var that S, again, because it's sample, not... Uh, population. Okay, makikita nyo, uh, mas malaki ang variance ni programming case sa kay math. Tingnan natin ang standard deviation. Equals stdev.s, again, because it's sample only, selected students. And what about math? Ayan na. So, as you can see here, mas maliit ang variance and standard deviation ni math. So, we can say that uh, the grades in math are closer to the average. Mas malapit sa average tong grades na to kumpara sa programming. Kumbaga sa math, since magkakalapit sila sa average, kumbaga halos pare-pareho ang performance ng mga bata sa math. Ay hindi nagkakalayo ang kanila mga kayang gawin. Samantalang sa programming, kita naman natin may naka-75, may naka-92 ang layo. Okay? Merong nahihirapan talaga sa programming at meron talagang uh, umaangat sa programming. Okay? Yan. So, do, uh, this is the answer key for this one. Okay? Okay, so uh, let's go to this one. Uh, because you might be able to see or encounter this in some of your uh, lessons. We have types of frequency distributions, but you will not have this in our class. Okay, 
So, as you can see, may shape siya. It's like a bell shape. Kaya tinatawag siyang bell curve. This is the normal distribution. Kumbaga, dapat nasa gitna lang ang average, nasa gitna ang median, nasa gitna ang mode. Hindi nakakalayo ang mga data. This is also known as the Gaussian distribution. Okay? It is also symmetrical. Tingnan naman natin to. Anong napapansin niyo sa curve? As you can see, the curve is somewhat nasa kaliwa. Hindi siya pantay. Okay? Ang mode, the median, the mean. Okay? This is what we call a skewed distribution. Yan yung nabanggit ko kanina sa median. Okay? Pagka halimbawa, most of the scores, kunyari, no? Most of the scores, puro matataas or uh, in this case, puro mabababa kasi nandito sa left side eh. At to daw ang mga scores karamihan nandito sa part na to. Okay, nasa lower part. So, ang tawag natin diyan ay left skewed or negatively skewed. Okay, medyo hindi maganda ang result. We also have right skewed meaning pag ganito siya. Nasa kanan naman, madami. Aba, sobrang daming ang tataas ng score. Ah, bakit kaya? Okay? Aba, sobrang daming ang baba ng score. Puro left skewed. Bakit kaya? Okay? Uh, we analyze your scores like this. Okay? Yan. Ina-analyze namin ang results ng inyong exam sexes. Okay? So that we can easily determine whether or not ano ba, madami bang mababa? Ilan lang ang mababa? Or whatsoever. Ito naman, as you can notice, it's just flat. Ah, ano kaya to? Pareho yung minimum, pareho yung maximum. So, this is a uniform distribution, pantay-pantay. Lahat naka-80, lahat naka-90. Okay, in a way, it's still questionable, no? Bakit kaya lahat naka-90? Okay? So, these are different types of frequency distribution. Okay. But now we'll proceed to bivariate statistics. Kanina, or uh, previously, univariate means isa. May isa ang variable mo. Puro uh, score sa quiz. Puro edad. Mm, puro score sa exam. Okay? This time, bivariate, dalawa na. Okay? Two variables. Okay? Activity 5, agad-agad. Think of situations or research problems that may involve bivariate statistics. Okay. So, ito ang aking example, no? Dalawang variable. Effect of playing game. Okay. Uh, paring the length of playing game. So, the student grades in school. Dalawa nang kinukumpara natin. So, ano ang variables ko? Ang variables ko dito ay meron, uh, number of hours spent in playing video games. This is my first variable. And my other variable is the student's average grade. Okay, madalas gusto nating malaman, gusto malaman ng teachers kung ang games ba nakakatulong o mas nakakasama. Okay. Ayan. So, we have a table, dalawa na ang numbers. Okay, uh, this is a, just a sample result. This result is not real. This is just from my imagination. Okay? Wala po akong pinagbataya nito. Random lang po. Ito man, akong number of hours spent playing video games. Nag-interview ako ng mga bata. Kunyari, hindi daw nag-video games. Hindi daw naglalaro. Hindi naglalaro. 2 hours naglalaro. 3 hours naglalaro. 6 hours. 6 hours. Ito daw yung grades nila sa school. Okay? Now, ang, anong gusto nating malaman dito? May epekto ba? Pagka ba mas matagal naglalaro, mas bumababa ang grade? O wala namang effect? Okay, that's what we want to know. So, think of a situation because you will be needing that in your quiz or you might need that in your uh, what do you call this one? Yeah. Quiz activity, quiz output. Okay, and you might need this in your exam. Yan. Sige, another example. Uh, sige. Totoo ba habang tumatanda ang isang tao, habang 
umiedad ay lumalaki ng lumalaki ang size ng paa. Okay, or size ng sapato. Okay, tingnan natin. Right? So, we have what we call a correlation analysis. When we say correlation, okay, may relationship ba itong independent and dependent variable? Tingnan natin. Ayan. So, there are different relationships. Hanggang dito, may iba't ibang relasyon. Okay? This is a direct relationship. The result is positive hanggang plus one. Pataas. Okay? Okay, kunyari, no? Kagaya ng example ko kanina, uh, kunyari, this is the number of hours spent in playing video games. Zero. Ah, wait lang. Sorry, sorry. Iba, iba. Let me just change. Kunyari, ito daw ay age. Ito ay shoe size. Ayan. Tama itong example na to. Okay? Habang patanda ng patanda ang isang tao, hindi pat lumalaki ng lumalaki ang kanyang shoe size. So, positive result siya. Pataas, it's a direct relationship. Habang tumataas ang age, tumataas ang shoe size. Pag bumababa ang age, bumababa ang shoe size. Pero syempre, wala naman bumababa ang age. Ano? Okay. Another one, kung meron tayong direct and positive result, meron tayong kabaliktaran the inverse relationship or the negative result. Anong example ko dito? Kunyari, uh, kunyari lang ha, this is not true. Uh, hours playing games. This is the number of hours playing saka ito daw yung grade. Ang sabi dito, no, Pag padami ng padami ang oras mo habang lumalaro, ng paglalaro, pababa ng pababa ang grade mo. I prove me wrong. Okay? Yan. Hindi, I'm a gamer as well. So, I would attest. And maybe I'm a testimony na hindi ito totoo, no? Okay? Wag lang. Again, sobra is iba. Sobra ay masama. No? Pero, uh, that's just an example, Okay? Pababa ng pababa, uh, pababa ng pababa ang grade mo hanggat pat, padami ng padami yung oras mo sa paglalaro. Inverse relationship. Tumataas ang, ang hours ng paglalaro, bumababa ang grade. Okay? Pwede naman, no correlation, walang effect at all or zero. Okay? As you can see, if you can see that, 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 yung kanyang data ay iba-iba, parang what, what effect naman talaga. Okay? Mm, kunyari, ba dito ang walang kinalaman? Mm, kunyari, no, age. Okay, patanda ng patanda ay padami daw ng padami ang let's say padami ng padami ang hobbies. Kunyari, ito o kaya to. Pwedeng sa iba, oo. Sa iba, hindi. Okay? Yung sa iba, stick to one ang hobby. Like, forever silang piano lang. Forever silang gitara lang. Forever silang drawing lang. Okay? So, isa lang. Yung iba naman, batang-bata, sobrang dami ng hobby. Gusto maglaro, manang badminton, gusto ng piano, gusto ng drawing, gusto ng singing. Yan. So, no correlation. Okay? That's an example. Okay? Yan. So, please take a screenshot of this. And here's a clear version. Ayan. So, okay. We want 